for joining me today. I um, just want to reiterate a couple things before we get rolling. Uh, the playlist that I have set up is just my usual sort of monthly playlist plan. Um, it is called May 2020 because that's what month it is. Uh, we'll have a new one for June. And I wanted to give you a heads up as well. Next weekend, I am not going to be teaching a class. I'm running a virtual yoga retreat with me and my friend Galen as part of our um, business yogi sisters retreat. So we're super excited about that, but I'm gonna miss you for one week. I'll be back in June for that first Saturday with a new playlist and a new class, 1030 Saturdays per the usual. So, um, so that one piece of, like that one update. And then on top of that, um, today we're going to be donating all of our, all of the proceeds that's going straight to an organization. It's called Bradley Angle, and it is a nonprofit here in Portland. It's really local to us that uh, provides services for domestic violence victims, as well as other people that are affected by domestic violence. Um, there's a ton of really accessible information on their website if you want to check that out um you can also find them on instagram again it's bradley angle so really cool stuff i know we no one wants to talk about this but those rates in this time of covid have gone way up and um, being able to support their work is really important to me so um so that i think we've got everyone muted right now um i think that's it let's go ahead and get started so i'll do a little countdown for the playlist it's not going to be perfect for all of us, but uh, if you've got it queued up, again, May 2020. Awesome. And I'll just go three, two, one, shoot, three, two, one, play. So three, two, one, play. The first few tracks are silent. So as those are playing, if you want to make your way onto your back on your mat, we'll get started lying down. Of course, that being said, if lying down is not your favorite way to start a yoga class or feels uncomfortable in any way to you, then find a shape that does feel that, that, <laughs> that does feel comfortable to you. Um, one thing that comes up a lot uh, for resting on our backs is like the low back feels a little tight. And especially for those of you that have maybe been working from home or sitting a little bit more than you're used to, that flexion in the front of the hips, meaning when you've got that like fold or that crease at the front of your hips sitting in a chair, um, can really tighten those muscles. And what ends up happening is that the those muscles are connected to your low back and it starts pulling on the low back. So if you feel some low back tightness, it's okay. It's probably a natural sort of symptom of our current reality. So don't sweat it for a second. You can just bend your knees and plant your feet on the ground to relieve that tension. Um, another option might be just starting in a seated position or in child's pose. But we'll take these first few minutes to just kind of feel out where we are. Right, and if it's comfortable to close your eyes right here, then I'm going to encourage you to close your eyes. If it's not, you might just gaze down or find a fixed point to focus on. So instead of trying to actively observe what is happening around you, just let the experience of being where you are wash over you. You might notice as you do this that like the body starts to find excuses to move or to fidget. Uh, you might notice that the mind also tries to do the same thing. And it's okay because that's natural, right? Always good to remember that our bodies are built to move and our minds are built to think. So they are just doing what they know how to do. And instead of worrying about it or feeling guilty or shameful about it, just know that it's natural and that you are perfectly fine as you are here. And together, we'll just take a really deep breath in through the nose and a long exhale through the nose. Wow, feeling that inflation of the lungs as you breathe in, the body expands and lifts and opens, even stretches. And as you exhale through the nose, let's find the opposite. So breathe out, feel everything draw in towards the spine. Inhale through the nose, feel the lift, the opening, and the expansion. Exhale through the nose, we feel the grounding, the connectedness, that knitting inward. Breath in right here. And breath out right here. A couple more just like that on your own. Focusing on the filling up and the expanding. And then focusing on the grounding and the releasing. Right. 
I'm going to try to keep it short here. Um, I've had kind of a weird week and I don't want to like lay this all on you. I just feel like I've had one of those weeks where things are getting to me a little bit more than they might normally. Um, there's a lot of ups and downs throughout this entire experience of, you know, basically being stuck at home. Um, the responsibility of staying in close to where we are. And there's some days where I wake up feeling like I am ready to get after it, to tackle every task on a to-do list. And there are some days where getting out of bed is the thing that I accomplished that day, right? And it's the sense of impermanence around that, right? We're all in our homes, which seem like they should be a, a permanent thing, right? We feel really good there. But the impermanence of the emotions from day to day can be kind of tough to navigate, right? Kind of a hard wave to roll through. The thing about it is it's something that we can't hide from, right? Right now, we don't have a lot of things that we can distract ourselves with. Normally, if we're feeling a little bit uncomfortable or bad or just kind of having one of those tough days, you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, we can get up and get out and distract ourselves with the world around us. But right now, we don't really have that. We're being forced to face um, all of the things inside of us that aren't sitting right. Got a lot of opportunities for lessons because of that. But the good news about impermanence is that impermanence in itself is not permanent, right? So time will keep moving. Things will continue on. They'll get better, they'll get worse, right? They'll go up and they'll go down. And that doesn't make them bad and it doesn't make them good. In Taoism, the principal concept, a sort of sister philosophy to Buddhism, the principal concept is something called the way. And when you follow the way, you go with the flow of life, you ride the ups and you ride the downs without attachment. You give yourself permission to feel every bump in the road, every high, every low. So as we work our way through our practice today, the invitation is to ride those waves, to go up, to go down. And instead of hiding from the experience that you're having to go all in with it. Reality is where we exist here. The Hindu sage Ramana Maharashi said, there is no greater mystery than this, that we keep seeking reality Though, in fact, we are reality. So here we allow ourselves to continue that deep breath if it feels good. To settle back in a natural breath if that feels better. To notice the experience of breathing as a practice of living in the present moment. Full inhale through the nose. And a nice long breath out here. Big inhale. We fill up all the way to the top. And this time, open your mouth and sigh out that breath. And then slowly begin to wake up your body. The fingers, the toes. You might rock your head from side to side. You might see what it's like to squeeze your eyelids really tightly and then feel the freedom as they open. Eventually, let's say the next three or so breaths, we'll gather those knees up into the chest welcoming ourselves into the present moment. I like to think about this as this very literal hug we are giving ourselves. So we breathe in and we breathe out, right? We can fill up here and notice where that expansion presses to the edges of our skin. And we can exhale right here. Now begin to rock side to side with knees into chest. Right, feeling that low back, take a gentle massage. Perfect. And then we'll pause and center, release our hands down by our sides. Extend the heels up towards the ceiling here. Now listen, legs don't have to be straight. Focus on knitting through the low ribs. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out to draw belly towards spine. Now we'll inhale and lower just the left leg to a hover off the ground. Hold here and breathe out. We're going to stick with it for an inhale, really driving through the left heel. And then slowly exhale, engage the core as you lift left leg up. Lowering now the right leg to a hover. Inhaling for that length in the front of the right thigh. Exhaling to press down through the palms. We'll breathe in here, really drive through the right heel. 
And then our exhale engages the core as we lift right back up. Bend the knees, plant the feet on the ground, scoot the heels in towards the body, and then feel your shoulder blades draw in underneath you. Knit through those ribs, press through the palms, drive the knees forward, bridge pose. Now in this bridge pose, I want you to focus on drawing your glutes inward and driving your knees away from your chest. Pressing down through the back of the head, the palms, the triceps, the upper arms. We breathe in to lift the hips just a little bit higher. And then exhale, slowly lower the body down here. Inhale, right away, drive through the heels to lift the hips. Exhale, slowly lower the body down. Inhale, lift the hips. This time adding arms as you reach up and overhead, rolling bridge. Exhale, lower the body right back down. Inhale, rolling bridge, lift up, up, up. Where can we feel the expansion? And exhale, lowering. Where do we feel that drawing in, that knitting? One more time, big breath in, body expands up. Exhale, lower everything to the mat. Now keep your hips low. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Open mouth, sigh out the breath. Ha. Ah. And we'll roll off to one side and slowly press our way up to a seated position. Finding our way to a cross-legged seat if it feels all right. Maybe even sitting on the edge of a pillow, couch cushion, or a block if you happen to have one. Bringing the hands to the knees here. And before we do anything else, I want us to take a moment to shift the shoulders back so that they're just over the hips. And as you do that, you notice, right, instead of falling forward and letting gravity take care of your body, we draw it backward and we start to empower our muscles to hold us up here. So the core already gently drawing in. We'll bring the hands to the knees and pressing the fingers into the front of the knees, inhale, seated cow, lift through the chest, soften the forehead. Exhale, seated cat, press the palms away, round through the upper back. Inhale, seated cow, lift open. Where can you feel that expansion? Exhale, seated cat, round through that upper back. Inhale, seated cow, lifting and opening. Exhaling, seated cat, rounding and drawing inward. Now inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Feel that lift. Exhale, plant your hands by your sides. Plant your feet in front of you. Reverse tabletop. So I'm going to turn so you can see me. Drive the knees forward and lift the hips up. So this is not too dissimilar from our bridge, right? We're lifting through the hips. We're driving through the knees, drawing the glutes inward and opening across the chest. We're going to pause here, take a big breath in. Hold here, take a big breath out. Now option to stay as you are, option to extend your left foot forward, lifting the hips a little higher as you inhale. Lower the left foot back down, breath out. Take a big inhale through the nose here. Open mouth, sigh it out. Right leg now extends out in front of you. And it's just one breath in. Then we breathe out, lower the right foot down, drop our hips to the mat, and return to your cross-legged position. This time, we'll bring the right ankle in front of the left. Mm -hmm. And you're welcome to stay just like this. Or option to move into a fire log pose, which is the right ankle on top of the left knee and the right knee on top of the left ankle, right? So you've got your shin bones stacked here. Holding this shape or returning to your cross legs with the right ankle in front, we'll breathe and reach the arms high to the sky. And then breathe out, release your right hand down by your side. Inhale, reach the left arm up and over. So this added pressure on the left knee allows a deeper stretch through the left side body here, spiraling the heart open as we breathe in, softening the right shoulder, breath out, inhale, let's lift back up through center. And exhale, hands down by your sides. We're simply going to switch the legs. So either a cross-legged position with the left ankle in front or option to take the left ankle on top of the right knee. The left knee on top of the right ankle. Inhale, reach those arms high to the sky. Keeping in mind the side might be different. Exhale, drop your left hand down. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over. Exhale, we soften just a bit. But again, really breathing into this low side body on the inhale. Scooping left rib cage as you breathe out. Let's find one more breath in through the nose. And one more breath out. Inhale, both arms reach high to the sky. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Feet plant in front of you. Reverse tabletop, knees forward, hips lift. We're here for one really big breath in. As you breathe out, release your seat. Sweep your legs out behind you. 
coming into a tabletop position, all fours. Hands slightly in front of the shoulders to relieve those wrists, and then press down through the palms. Press down through the pad of each finger. Breathe in traditional cow pose. Breathe out traditional cat pose. One more cow for right now. We inhale to expand across the chest. And exhale, down dog, nice and early. Curl toes, lift hips up and back. Remembering that it's early, right? So paddle out the legs a little bit. As usual, that invitation to do the thing that you always do in downward facing dog when you first get there, right? So we establish our comfort and then we let ourselves fall into the way. Right? We let ourselves see what's actually happening where we are. And, and again, that might mean tighter hips. It might mean sore muscles. I might just feel a little lethargic today, and that's perfect. But meeting yourself where you're at is the only way that you can exist in reality. I mean, it's the only way that you can actually live. If we're anywhere else than where we are, we're living in fantasy, which we all know isn't real. Be kind of nice, though, yeah? I don't know. All right, in your downward dog, we're going to play a little bit today. So take a bend in the knees. And taking the smallest little hot feet, we'll stay where they are, just like a little lift through the feet, right? I'm just going to do this a couple times. And then hop six inches forward. And then hop six inches forward, right? And then hop six inches forward, eventually finding your way to a ragdoll forward fold, grabbing opposite elbows, letting that upper body sway from right to left. Nice job. Releasing the hands down towards the toes. We'll breathe in to peel the right arm high to the sky. Simple twist. Exhale, release your right hand down. Inhale, take that left arm up, 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 opening across the heart. And exhale, left hand releases down. Weight in the heels right away. Roll your way to standing. And as we breathe in, arms sweep high to the sky for our mountain pose. Upward salute. Exhale, hands down to heart center. All right. Bring the feet about hip width apart here. I want us to establish the groundedness through our feet, but also the chosen activation through the muscles, right? Last week we talked about um, eccentric contraction, that we can activate our muscles by simply choosing to. So driving through the feet, lengthening through the spine, take an inhale to reach those arms up, and exhale forward fold, release it down. Inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale, release it down, forward fold, reverse swan dive, press through the feet and sweep up through the arms. Exhale, take your right arm back and your left arm forward, gentle twist. Breathe in, both arms sweep high. Exhale, is the left arm back, right arm forward. Breathe in, both arms sweep high to the sky, now elbows wide, baby, back bend, sigh out that breath. Inhale, arms reach up, swan dive forward, lead with the chest here, smile the collarbone. Inhale, halfway lift, palms to shins. And as you breathe out, it's our high plank pose. So plant the hands and step it back. Now I know core is already warm, so we don't have to spend that much time here. But think about lifting the hips a little bit, scooping your tail, strengthening through the center of your body. A breath in right here. Exhale lower all the way to the ground. One time, low cobra. Flip the feet, squeeze the elbows. Activate the upper back to lift through the chest. Exhale, lower it right back down. Breathe in for your tabletop. Listen, child's pose, breath out. Pausing here to check in. To check in with how your body feels, what's tangible. To check in with how your mind is reacting to the experience that you are having. And listen, there's no wrong reaction, but just know that whatever you are doing at any given moment, you're getting better at, right? So if there's something that's kind of rubbing you the wrong way, maybe this is our moment to let go of that and choose to shift our focus. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale for your tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right away high on your toes, we'll breathe in, bend the knees, breathe out. Hop halfway up your mat. Inhale right here. And then exhale, hop all the way forward, halfway lift a breath in. Forward fold, breath out. Inhale, mountain pose, upward salute. Swan dive forward, bow it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank pose like you are giving yourself a gift. We breathe in to shift forward. Breathe out lower, halfway or all the way. Chaturanga if you want it. Up dog or cobra, back bend of your choice. Lift the chest. And then downward facing dog, our breath out. 
out. Let's inhale right here, high on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look at the hands, step or hop the feet forward. Halfway, let's breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Mountain pose, inhale, reach for it. Elbows wide, sigh out the breath. <sighs> inhale, reach for the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. One more time through full speed. Halfway lift is your inhale. Exhale, high plank pose. We'll breathe in to shift forward. Breathe that lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale right here. And exhale. Let's breathe in. Take the left heel high to the sky. Nice. Now exhale, knee to nose, roll it forward. Listen, breathe in here. Lefting the left elbow. Now this is kind of tricky. We're going to take the left ankle, cross it over the right thigh, figure four, downward dog. Spending a little time getting into those hips here. Right knee might be really bent. Trust your body. Take what you need. One more breath in. Try to flex through your left ankle. And one more breath out. Scorpion dog is your breath in. So unhook the ankle. Peel that left knee up and open. And as you breathe out, step through low lunge. Release your right knee to the mat. And inhale, arms up for Anjane Asana. Right? Especially my first Anjane Asana. I really like to take some time to feel out what I'm dealing with. So kind of bounce a little bit. Zip the inner thighs. Sink the hips towards the left heel. And then breathe in to lift up and expand, right? So we've got our safety and our grounding, and then the lifting and the opening. One inhale, reach up. Exhale, is left arm back and right arm out in front of you. Take one inhale to lengthen the spine. One exhale to twist just a little bit deeper. Inhale, take the right arm high, left hand falls down the back of the right thigh. And exhale, hands windmill down and half splits. So left leg straightens ish, but don't sweat. Right? All we're looking for is a little sensation in the back of the left thigh. We'll breathe in through the nose just here. And breathe out through the nose. Inhale for high crescent lunge. Plant the left foot. Curl the right toes under. Pop the right knee off the mat and then arms high. Now, for those of you with the tight hip flexors right now from all this additional sitting, take a bend in that back knee. Notice the tailbone drop, the low belly zip in. Then draw the inner thighs together and arms reach high. A full breath in through the nose. And a full breath out here. Let's inhale, maybe even gaze up at the hands for a little back bend. Exhale, warrior two, nice and early. So spiral right heel down. Bend that left knee, right? If you need to lift up and dip back in, go for it. But think about left knee stacked over the left ankle-ish. And then arms reach wide. Long into those fingertips, right? The way you do anything is the way you do everything. So even in our yoga poses... It counts, right? We're getting better at something here, whether it's an internal approach to our practice or physically strengthening the muscles. So gaze is over that left hand. Warrior two will breathe in through the nose. And breathe out here. Now listen, inhale, high crescent lunge. Like we never left, rotate on the back toes. Hands reach high. Exhale to lean and fly. Breath in chair pose. Right foot next to left, arms reach up. I'm getting very close to my plant here. And we extend up into those fingertips as we inhale. It's our first chair pose. So exhale, dip those hands down the center, right? But really press palm into palm. Settle the weight into the heels. Actively choose to engage your muscles. So press through the heels. Press them down and away. Arms high, breath in. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Yeah. And then we take a peek down to see what your knees are up to. I don't really mind if your knees are out of line. Just know that it's not necessarily deepening your twist. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. And we just kind of take stock of what's happening here. Physically, mentally, where is the breath? Inhale, back to chair pose. Exhale to lean and fly. Breathe in, mountain pose. Press through the heels, reach through the fingers. Elbows wide, sigh out the breath. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, swan dive forward. Breathe in for our halfway lift. And then breathe out downward dog. So plant your hands. You can step back. You can hop back. Hit that chaturanga if you want it. Maybe a back bend. But as you settle into your down dog, choose it. Don't hold back. Right? There's this thing called the negativity bias. That is the idea that we're always looking for what's wrong. Because we're always trying to get better at things. Right? In fact, that's how we've survived as a species. 
It is so ingrained in, it, in us that we use it for everything, constantly comparing ourselves to other people, comparing ourselves to older versions of ourselves. We're always looking for what we can fix. The reality is that there's oftentimes nothing that needs to be fixed, right? The work comes when we show up with what we've got, when we prioritize ourselves and choose who we are right here. So trust yourself, right? Checking out the body is one of the best ways to do that. Take an inhale through the nose, an exhale through the nose. Breathe and let's get that right heel high. And then exhale, leave nose, roll it forward. Pausing here for an inhale, puff up the upper back. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. So here's that tricky transition. Figure four, down dog. Right ankle, left thigh, lift the hips up and back. Maybe a little bounciness, maybe a generous bend in that left knee. Breath in through the nose. And breath out, flex that right ankle, scorpion dog. Inhale, peel the right knee up and open. And then exhale, knee to nose, step it through, low lunge. Drop the left knee. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. And, of course, first time this side. Feel it out a little bit, right? See what your body is calling for, what it is that you might need in this moment. So draw the inner thighs in. Press your right heel forward, and then arms lift up. A breath in through the nose here. Exhale is right arm back, left arm forward. Yeah, so feel that chest expand as you breathe in. Gently spiraling your right rib cage back as you breathe out. Inhale, left arm sweeps up. Exhale, half splits, hands windmill down. Evening out through the hips, is straightening out through that right leg ish. But just noticing if you've got the sensation, more is not going to be more here. Breathe in. Trust what you've got. Breathe out. Inhale for crescent. Right foot plants, left toes curl under, pop the left knee off the mat. Woo. Arms high to the sky. <laughs> right for balance, press your feet away from each other, but zip the inner thighs. Maybe that bend in the back knee. Stacking right knee over right ankle-ish. Arms high to the sky as you breathe in. And breathe out. We've got one more inhale right here. Exhale is warrior two. Spiral left heel down. And then just kind of check in with your body, right? Knee over that front ankle-ish. A gentle widening of the right knee to strengthen through the glutes. And then press your feet down and away. Arms reach long. Breathe in. Hips settle forward as you breathe out. Inhale for high crescent lunge, right? Almost like we never left. Feel the inner thigh zipper up. Exhale to lean and fly. Inhale, chair pose. Left foot next to right. And now we can kind of settle into our chair pose, right? We've done a nice open arm twist in our chair pose. We're going to draw those hands down to center. Heart center, excuse me. But that doesn't mean that the rest of the body turns off. Press down through your feet. Widen through the outer thighs. And now, keeping your hips and knees as stable as you can, we're just going to twist to the right. So gently twist the shoulders, and that's it, right? That's our twist. There's nowhere we need to get to that we're not finding with this exact twist here. We're gonna take it over to the left, right? Don't have to overcomplicate this. Twisting, breathe in. Softening where it's possible and settling in a little bit deeper. Breathe in, back to chair pose. Arms reach high through center. Exhale, lean and fly. Chair pose, utkatasana. Inhale, arms reach up. And now, drinking bird, lean and fly with the heels the hips, the hands, and then squeeze those pinkies in and dip your nose down. Full breath in and full breath out. Give me one more inhale. Exhale, drop the heels, brush the ground, inhale, mountain pose. Elbows wide, sigh out the breath. Inhale, reach straight up and exhale forward fold. We'll pick up the pace. Halfway lift a breath in. Downward dog is our destination. So exhale, step hop, step hop or float it back. And then we'll meet with our hips up and back. A breath in through the nose. And a breath out through the nose. Let's take a cleansing breath together. We inhale. And then open mouth, sigh out that breath. <sighs> inhale, left heel high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. One breath in here. Exhale, figure four, ankle over thigh, hips lift high. We breathe in for our scorpion dog, peel the knee up and open. Exhale, low lunge, step through, foot between hands, right knee drops. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, twist, left arm back. Inhale, right arm to the sky. And exhale, half splits, hands windmill down. Breathe in for crescent lunge, back knee lifts, arms extend up. And exhale, warrior two, drop the back heel. Breathe in, high crescent like you never left. Exhale, lean and fly. Breath in for chair pose, both arms up. 
Breathe out, lean and fly here. Open heart, squeeze the elbows in. Breathe in mountain pose. Elbows wide, sigh out that breath. Inhale, straight up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, it's up to you. Exhale, step back or float back. High plank, chaturanga or down dog. Breathe in, up dog or cobra. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, knee to nose. Breathe in right here. Figure four, down dog, breath out. Inhale, scorpion dog, peel the knee up and open. And exhale, step through low lunge. Left knee drops. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, take that left arm high. Half splits is your breath out. Inhale, high crescent lunge, roll it forward. And exhale, warrior two, strong through the fingertips. Inhale, crescent like you never left. Exhale, lean and fly. Breathe in, chair pose, left foot next to right. Breathe out, lean and fly. Listen, back to chair pose as you inhale. Exhale, drinking bird, lift the heels, the hips, and the hands. Inhale, mountain pose, brush the ground, reach up. Elbows wide, sigh, help that breath. Inhale, reach straight up, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart center, chair. So pause. Press palm into palm. Press heels into mat. And then as if my hands were on your outer thighs, try to press the outer thighs wide without bowing the knees, right? So down and away. Hands stay at heart, breathe and lift through the front body. Breathe out, scoop your seat underneath you, settle a little bit lower. So we're gonna twist to the right again. Option to find this twist, keeping the knees and hips in line. Maybe fly the arms wide. If you'd like to add, we can bring the left elbow inside the left thigh or all the way to the outside of that right thigh. Breathe into where you are. Settling the weight into those heels as you breathe out. Back to center, inhale, palms at heart. Exhale, we twist to the left. Now one step at a time, right? Option to fly the arms wide. Option to add on elbow to inner right thigh or outer left thigh. Whatever works for you, scoop your seat, weight in the heels, breathe it in. And breathe out here. Inhale back to chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, lean and fly. Mountain pose, root to rise, arms up, elbows wide, sigh out the breath. Ha. <sighs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift is your breath in. Down dog is where we'll meet on your breath out. So high plank, float to your chaturanga. Add an extra push up or skip all of it and meet us in down dog. Or maybe child's pose is what is being called for now. Find that here. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. And we do our best here to let go. Let go of that clinging towards control, that clinging towards some alternate version of what we are experiencing. Instead, feel the bumps, feel the rising, feel the falling. From the book, 10,000 Ways to Listen, Mark Nepo says, nothing in nature grows according to plan, but according to the constancy of the elements. So it doesn't matter what we wish would happen or how we think things should be. Everything that we do happens in a way that we have the opportunity to either embrace or to avoid, right? So if we're living this life one time, what does it look like to embrace the challenges, to embrace the lessons, to embrace the offerings, right? It's not the easy route, but overall, the more peaceful one for sure. So find yourself in this downward dog. And I get it. Downward dog is hard. People always act like it's a resting pose. But if you're here and you're challenged, are you talking yourself out of it because you're used to doing that? Or are you talking yourself out of it because you actually need child's pose right now, right? Find yourself in this moment. Trust your body. We've got a big breath in through the nose, followed by a really long breath out. Two more like that to trust yourself exactly as you are, filling up, and then emptying out. Nice. We've got one more big breath in. Open out, sigh out all of that resistance. Let it go. We'll breathe in. Take the left heel high to the sky. Three-legged dog lift up, up, up. Exhale, knee to nose. Roll it forward. One breath in here. Left ankle, right thigh, figure four, down dog, breathe out. Inhale, scorpion dog, left knee lifts up and open and exhale, low lunge, step through top of the mat. Now listen, 
Cow lunges your breath in. Tent your fingers, lift your chest. Cat lunge, exhale, round your spine. Draw the chin inward. Breathe in for standing splits, right foot lifts off the mat, and then breathe out, let the crown of your head get heavy. We've got a breath in here. Fingertips on the mat, exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale, scorpion your standing splits, activating through that right glute, and exhale for Shiva squat, knee behind knee. Pausing here, hands to heart as you inhale, scoop your seat underneath you, breathe out. Standing right knee raises, your breath in through the nose, we lift up, up, up. Lifting the ribcage out of the pelvis, arms reach high to the sky on the breath in. Figure four, right ankle, left thigh, breathe out. And inhale just here. And then exhale just here. Inhale, reach both arms high as you lift the right knee, standing knee raise. Exhale, flying crescent, big step back, arms reach behind you. Inhale, open it up, warrior two. Yeah, and then sink your right hip towards your left heel, exhale. Breathe in to reverse your warrior to the up and back. And then exhale, extended side angle. So reach long, left elbow down, right arm up and over. Full inhale for length in the right side body. Full exhale to knit those low ribs in. Now breathe in, reverse your triangle, bump your hips forward, stretch that left side, especially that low part. And then exhale, triangle pose. Hips kick out behind you, right arm high, left arm down. Breathe in for warrior two. Listen up, breathe out, settle. Inhale all the way to chair pose. Right foot meets left hands high. Yeah, yes. And then exhale, we lean and fly. Nice, breathe in back to our chair. And exhale, drinking bird. Lift the heels, the hips, and the hands. Full breath in here. And full breath out. Inhale, back to chair pose, but do your best to stay on your toes here. And then we're gonna start bending the knees. We're gonna keep bending the knees. And we're gonna pause here. Try to press your uh, the front of your ankles forward. Hover the hips off the heels, right? It might get a little shaky. You've got this, you're good to go. We're here for three. We're here for two. One, go ahead and take a seat on your mat. And right away, hands behind the thighs, lift the chest. Breathe in to lengthen. Breathe out, soften the shoulders and the expectations. All we're going to do is lean back. Lean back till you feel your core begin to activate. Only optional. Lift one foot, maybe two. Right, a big breath in and a big breath out. Again, only optional, maybe one hand reaches forward, maybe two. Breathe in, breathe out, only optional, maybe lower one leg. Yeah, maybe two. And then we lift both legs up. Lower the opposite leg and then side two. Lift everything up, arms high, big breath in through the nose. Exhale, cross your ankles, roll over your knees. Down dog is our destination. So you can hop back, you can step back, you can take child's pose instead. And you know my policy, you can do anything you want at any time, right? Everything that you are doing is a choice. So if you're choosing it, fucking choose it, right? There's no reason to hold back. Breathe in. And breathe out, please. And then we'll inhale, take that right heel high to the sky. Nice. Exhale, knee to nose. Roll it forward. Right ankle, left thigh. Figure four, down dog. Scorpion dog. Breathe in. Peel the right knee up and open. And exhale, low lunge. Step right foot between the hands. Now cow lunges your breath and dip the hips, lift the chest. Exhale, cat lunge round that spine. Standing splits, left foot lifts. And then relax the crown of your head down, fingertips on the ground. Breathe in here. Breathe out, bend your left knee. Scorpion standing splits as you inhale, lift the knee up. And exhale, Shiva squat, knee behind knee. Now listen, hands to heart center as you breathe in. Shift the weight into your right heel uh, and scoop your seat underneath you. Standing left knee raise as you breathe in. Perfect. Again, everything is lifting up and out. Instead of dumping into the ankle, the knee, the hip, right? The difference between popping the hip out and just doing our best to get by and then actively choosing to be in the pose, right? So much different, so much lighter, so much more empowering, body and mind. Breathe and lift that left knee a little higher and then it's figure four, hands to heart center, right? And we settle into the right heel and we allow ourselves to be different on this side than the first side. Breathe in through the nose 
and breathe out through the nose. Nice job. Let's inhale, lift all the way up, standing knee raise. And exhale, big step back, flying crescent. Inhale, warrior two, peel everything open. And then exhale, sink that left hip towards your right heel. Breathe in, reverse your warrior, tipping it up and back. Exhale, extended side angle, reach really long, right arm down, left arm reaches up and over. One breath in here for length from left heel to left fingertips. Exhale, settle into the hips. Inhale, reverse your triangle, bump the hips forward, right arm reaches up and back. And exhale, triangle pose. Nice. Breathe in, warrior two. One exhale to pause and ground. Inhale all the way to chair pose, left foot next to right. And we breathe in through the nose just here. And we breathe out, lean and fly. Inhale back to chair. Exhale, drinking bird. Lift the heels, the hips, the hands, and then pause. Exhale, knit through the low belly. Staying on your toes, inhale, we come back to chair. And from here, we begin to bend the knees a lot, right? Continue to like hover, but no assumptions. You're welcome to meet us in down dog. You're welcome to meet us in boat pose. Or option here to reach your hands forward. Bring them down, spread the fingers wide. These are like chaturanga arms. So wrap the outer shoulders around. Crow prep or crow pose. So knees to the backs of the upper arms, shifting the weight forward. Now maybe lifting one toe, maybe lifting both. But as you find your way into whatever version of this that you want, be there, right? No regrets. And if it's not working, change it, right? This is all up to you, your practice. We're here for five. We'll meet in down dog in four. So whether you are in crow, or on your way there, whether you're in boat or child's pose, in three, in two, downward facing dog in one. And as we find our downward dog, we take a huge breath in through the nose and then an open mouth exhale to sigh out that breath. Really nice job, final push here. Let's breathe in, take that left heel high to the sky and exhale, lean the nose. One breath in here. Left ankle, right thigh, figure four, down dog, breathe out. Inhale, scorpion dog, peel that left knee up and open. And exhale, low lunge, step it through. Right away, it's high crescent as you breathe in. And warrior two on the breath out. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, lengthen through that right side. Breathe in, reverse your triangle, tip it up and back. Breathe out, triangle pose. Inhale for five point and star body gets big. Take up as much space as you can. And then excess skandhasana back of your mat, right? Point the right toes out just a bit, hands to heart center. And we're just widening the right knee. Option to lift your left toes up and settle a little bit lower. But feel bouncy here, right? This is called jumper's pose. Skandhasana, right? So feel that levity. We're gonna find standing knee raise facing the long side of your mat at the top of your mat. So one practice round, we lift that right knee up. Yeah, and then let's settle back in, skandhasana. Perfect, all the way up, jumper's pose. Breathe in through our standing knee raise. Yeah, and now figure four, ankle over thigh. Now option to stay right here. You're welcome to add on a twist. So twisting to the left side, bringing the right elbow maybe to the inner arch of that right foot. Flexing the right ankle, pressing elbow into foot, foot into elbow, we breathe in. And we breathe out. Inhale all the way up, standing knee raise, lift out of that left ankle. Skandasana like we never left. Perfect. Five pointed star, breathe in, take up space. And exhale, warrior two, top of the mat. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Just let it feel good. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in, reverse your triangle. And breathe out, triangle pose. Warrior two is your breath in. Settle the hips as you breathe out. Listen, standing knee raise. So same transition, rotate on the back toes, but instead of crescent, instead of chair, we pull ourselves all the way up. And then exhale, baby back bend, right hand down, elbows open wide. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for your halfway lift. You're the boss, crow, high plank, chaturanga, down dog, child's pose taking your time to work your way through the shapes that serve you. 
No one else. Just you right now, right? In this reality. Not the moment that you wish it was. There is no greater mystery than this. That we keep seeking reality, though in fact we are reality. You're already there, right? Nowhere to get to. Side two, final push. Let's take a huge inhale through the nose. What do you need to let go of? Open that side out. <sighs> inhale. Let's bring right heel to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Roll it forward. One breath in here. Puff up the upper back. And then exhale, figure four. Inhale, scorpion dog. Peel the knee up and open. And as you exhale, step it through low lunge. Straight to our high crescent as we breathe in. I'm going to turn so that I can face you. Perfect. And we exhale, open up warrior two. Perfect. Breathe and reverse your warrior. Breathe out for triangle. Again, just letting this feel good. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Stretch that right side body. And exhale, extend, excuse me, exhale, triangle pose. Breathe in all the way up for our warrior two. And we breathe out to just settle the hips a little bit here. Inhale, open up five points so our body gets big, take up space. And exhale, skandasana back of the mat. All right, so this time it's the left knee that's bending, maybe the right toes lift up. And we give ourselves a chance to feel this out, right? To find that levity, breathing in and breathing out. And now top of the mat, standing knee raise. We lift that left knee up with us. Perfect, that's our practice run. We're hitting it one more time. Straight to skandasana like you never left. And then standing knee raise, a breath in this big dynamic movement. Perfect, ankle over thigh, figure four. Breathing in. Sinking a little lower on that breath out. Staying here for your inhale. Settling and maybe twisting on the exhale, right? So option to take the left elbow to the sole of that left foot. Pressing elbow into foot, foot into elbow. Breathing in. And breathing out. Standing knee raise is your inhale. We lift everything up. Skandasana like you never left. Breath out. Five-pointed star. Inhale, get big. Mm -hmm. Exhale is warrior two, just letting it feel good. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Breathe out triangle, or excuse me, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, triangle pulse. Inhale, right up for warrior two. Exhale, sink your back hip towards your right heel. Inhale, straight to standing knee raise, lift everything up. Big movement here. Exhale, elbows wide, baby. Back bend. Ha. <sighs> Inhale, hands reach high. Exhale, forward fold. So final time for you here. Taking what you need. You might throw in that crow, right? You might find your way through a chaturanga, an up dog, a cobra, whatever it is that allows you to feel good in your body here. Breathing in and breathing out. And in our downward dog, we inhale. In our downward dog, we exhale. Let's all go ahead and lift high on the toes. Exhale, knees to the mat, child's pose. Bring those knees wide, though. Settle the hips towards the heels. Walk the arms long in front of the body. And feel that chest melt towards the ground. And as you feel your heart pounding, your breath moving in and out of your lungs, Notice what you're bumping up against. If there's anything there, anything there that is stopping you from just following the flow, the way, from experiencing where you are and what it's like to breathe here. Full breath in. Full breath out. Slowly, tabletop position on your inhale. And then we'll just cross our ankles behind us, sweep our legs out in front of us, bring the legs along. Noticing your seat underneath you, maybe a little bend in the knees here, yeah? Arms high to the sky as you breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, chest towards thighs, arms reach long, and they only reach as long as they can reach, right? Hands release down, breathing in. Maybe scooting those heels forward as you breathe out. Maybe rounding the upper back if you prefer a yin variation caterpillar pose. But a handful of breaths here. 
to feel yourself in this moment, to notice what it's like to be just here. Breath in and breath out. And this moment itself is impermanent. Everything we do happens one time, right? So big picture, it's all impermanent. Big picture, we've got nowhere to get to. And as soon as we embrace that, so much of the stress and the tension that we carry around washes right off of us. Things can only exist as they are. As you feel ready, slowly roll the shoulders back up over the hips. Reach your arms to the sky and then lower onto your back. And just as we began, right, draw your knees into your chest. A little rock from side to side. It's this gentle offering to yourself. Release the soles of the feet down. Draw just the right knee in for a moment towards the chest. And then right ankle, left thigh, figure four on the back. Interlacing hands behind the left thigh, maybe, but honestly, it's not necessary. It feels better to just keep your left foot down and gently press the right thigh forward. Stick with that. We'll be here for a few breaths. You might even choose now to let your eyelids get heavy or even close. All we're looking for in this shape is a stretch in the muscles that support our hip joints. So you might feel that in your glutes hamstrings, inner thigh, you might feel it in your outer hip, your low back. Breathe into where you are embracing that sensation and breathe out. We've got one more inhale. Exhale, release the left foot down. Listen, right ankle stays where it is. And we're just going to continue sliding right ankle over left thigh, letting the knees fall to the left, hips scoop to the right. Supine twist, arms open up. You can keep your nose pointing towards the ceiling if you want a little stretch in your neck, gazing over the right hand. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Let's take one more big breath in here. Part the lips and sigh it out. <sighs> Go ahead and roll the knees up through center. Just unravel the body. Scoot the hips back to center. Plant left foot, plant right foot. And I like to do a little windshield wiper here. Yeah. Then we'll pause and center. Draw just the left knee up into the chest. Left ankle, right thigh. Figure four on the back. Again, option to stay here or interlace hands behind the right thigh. Doing your best to flex through that left ankle just to protect it a little bit. And settling in, all right? Feeling yourself where you are. Nowhere to get to. There's not more. There's not less waiting anywhere. This breath in. This breath out. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the nose. How about two more like that? A big breath in. And a long breath out. Full inhale, where are you expanding? Full exhale, gently release the right foot down. Keep the left ankle over the right thigh and just continue sliding it over. Hip scoop to the left, knees fall to the right. Supine twist side two. Arms reach long. Option to gaze over that left shoulder towards the left hand if that feels good in the neck. Option to try it and hate it and never do it again, right? But always prioritizing what is coming up for you here. A few breaths, but I'll tell you when to move so you don't even have to concern yourself with that. Feel your body where it is. Trust that where you're at is enough. Full inhale. Complete exhale. And go ahead and roll back up through center. 
Plant the right foot, scoot the hips to center, plant the left foot. Again, that windshield wiper action if it feels good. Mm -hmm. Pausing in center with the feet planted, the knees pointing up. We're going to take one final shape here. We'll draw both knees into the chest. Two options for this happy baby. So one happy baby variation is to keep the hands on the shins or behind the thighs. Let the knees fall forward and wide. Gentle stretch the inner thighs or the outer hips. Or if you'd like a more traditional variation, draw the knees wide. Hands grab either the outer feet, the backs of the calves, or you might just hold on to the backs of the thighs here. Right, again, just feeling the muscles that support your hip joints, stretching. If you want a little rock from side to side here, go for it. Maybe straightening one leg and then the other. Right, if you're over it, feet can always come back down. If you're here, find yourself here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale just here. And exhale. Let's take one more big breath in. Your breath out allows those knees to release, drawing them up into the chest, rounding the upper back and the back of the neck. We'll inhale through the nose. Exhale, release the feet down. Taking your right hand to rest on your heart, your left hand to rest on your belly. Either keeping the legs as they are, knocking the knees inward, or maybe even letting the knees fall wide for Supta Baddha Konasana, our reclined butterfly pose. Pressing down through the back of the head, letting gravity do the work everywhere else. Eyelids heavy, eyes could even close. Breathe in. We breathe out. And inhale. And exhale. Softening around the edges. Releasing in the mind as much as possible. And now you're welcome to finish your practice just like this. If you prefer a more traditional ending pose, then please go ahead and extend your legs long. Flip your palms to face the ceiling by your sides. Just letting the weight take over as you settle into your final resting pose, whether it's Shavasana, corpse pose, that traditional ending pose, or whether something else is calling your name today. Right, as usual, listen, if you've got a wall nearby, legs up the wall could be a really nice option. But find yourself with just this moment as much as possible. And listen, I know that it can't be perfect. Again, our brains are built to think. So the, th the thoughts just come and they go. Each one impermanent. Each one totally valid. But can you follow the ups and the downs without getting caught up in the what ifs and the wishes? Can you live just here? The simple reality on your mat here instead of the fantasy that exists beyond it. Breathing in. And breathing out. Continuing to rest. I'll bring you back up in a few moments. But exploring what it's like to be just as you are here. Trust yourself. There's no way you can mess this up.
So obviously it's never all going to be easy. There's always going to be ups and there's always going to be downs and there's nothing we can do about that. And there's only so much we get to control in this life. And really it's what we choose to focus on, what we let get to us, how we experience the world and what stories we tell ourselves about it. I have a little quote here from my kind of current favorite book. I think Brooks on this call, she gave this to me, All Along You Were Blooming by Morgan Harper Nichols. Said, choosing to have joy is not naively thinking everything will be easy. It is courageously believing that there is still hope even when things get hard. So it's not gonna be perfect every single time or ever for that matter. And we're still gonna have hard days or weeks or months or years and it doesn't mean that we're doing a bad job. Right now, we can make a choice and of what we let in and what we let go of. Of choosing to go with the flow to ride the wave or to fight it, okay? So let your experience wash over you. And as you feel ready, please begin to invite some movement into your body. You're also at home, so we prefer to just stay resting than do that. We'll slowly work our way up to a seated position. Meeting, maybe cross-legged or resting on the shins. Feeling out your body a little bit. Settling into where you are. And once you've got yourself settled, take a really deep breath in and just see if that chest can lift and expand. And a nice long exhale. Inhale, reach those arms high. Open mouth, exhale, hands to heart center. <sighs> Thank you for joining me today. Always an honor to share this practice with you. Again, such a joy. I'd like to take a moment as well to thank the people and the culture who created this practice of yoga that we all benefit from. Thank you all so much. Gentle reminder that I won't be here next week, but we'll be back on track starting in June. All donations this week are going to Bradley Angle an amazing nonprofit here in Portland that supports victims of domestic violence and those that are affected by it you can Venmo me at Alan Isabel and I'll make sure those ones go straight to them. Thank you all so much. Make yourself the best day. Love you.